Life. Wisdom. Hey, it's Courtney, and you're watching the first of three videos for beginners, yoga, and weight loss. Today we are targeting your belly fat. So we're gonna get into your core strength and abdominal power. It's gonna help you lose the weight you wanna lose and feel really great while doing it. So you're gonna start in a seated position, just like I am. Please join me on your mat and be sure and favorite this video. Look out for numbers two and three so you can keep practicing with me. So we're starting in a seated comfortable position and if this is not a comfortable position for you, take a blanket or a pillow and sit up so you make your own yoga chair. You wanna feel your hips grounded into the mat or into your cushion. I'm just gonna get rid of it because I don't really need it. I just wanna just show you in case you do. So with your hands comfortably placed, on your knees, let's draw your shoulders up to your ears and just engage the strength of the tops of your shoulders and your neck. It's a place where we tend to accumulate a lot of worry and tension and we wanna start our beginner's yoga series with releasing as much tension in our body as we can. So then just let your shoulders roll down the back of your rib cage. Take a deep breath in through your nose let your breath draw into your ribs, into your lungs from the bottom to the sides to the very top. And with an open mouth, <sighs> exhale, again releasing your shoulders down your back. Let your neck be soft, just let, get rid of any tension that you're holding in your head and your shoulders. And drop your energy and awareness down into your body going into the place around your belly button so you can bring one hand onto your belly button so you allow yourself to connect uh, into your body and as you connect here you'll notice that your breath is going to relax a little bit more and you're going to start inhabiting the lower portion of your body once we get rid of all of the stress we keep uh, unconsciously tense in our body, then we get into the uh, better stuff, the good stuff that's really going to propel us into empowering our life and our body and getting rid of all that belly fat. Mwah! We're going to kiss it goodbye. All right. So we're going to take your arms out to the sides and again, breathe in through your nose, letting your breath fill your lungs from the bottom to the sides to the top. And then as you exhale, let your breath release out of your body and let your presence drop deeper into your belly. Once again, inhale, expanding through your lungs and exhale, relaxing and feeling the sensations start to wake up in your belly. Now you're going to extend your legs out in front of you. So I'll just turn to the side. <clears throat> in Dandasana. Allowing the backs of the legs to open. Hips are grounded or elevated on a seat. Again, we're gonna inhale your arms out to the sides. Feeling the breath expand in your lungs. And exhale, feeling the awareness drop down into your belly. Now, if this is starting to be uncomfortable and you're losing the sensation in your abdomen, Let's take your hands to the ground behind you so your arms become like pillars of support for your spine to stand tall from your hips. And as your spine elongates out of your hips, feel the energy moving into your belly. This is a relaxed energy. We don't want to feel like we're pulling in tension right now. We want to keep relaxing just as we stretched or just as we shrugged our shoulders to relax the energy built in our neck and our shoulders. We want to relax the energy in our abdomen and on our lower belly. So being soft and stable here, once again, inhale, expanding your lungs, expanding your arms, letting your belly relax down, letting your hips relax down as your chest reaches up and your arms reach up. Exhale. And scooch forward now 
to lay down onto your back. So as you lay down onto your back, you want to keep the back, or keep your sacrum, your lower back, flat on your mat. So by doing, so to do that, tuck your tailbone up towards your knees, and then elongate your lower back as you lay onto the ground. Now draw your knees up into your chest and give yourself a hug by reaching your arms around your shins. Here again, relax into your belly as you exhale and feel your thighs pressing into, the, into your abdominal area. So we're just compressing these muscles in our lower belly and in our lower back. Now let's take your hands into a basket, interlace your fingers around your left shin and extend your right foot straight out, hovering over the mat. So in this initial extension of your leg, I'd like you to feel that your lower back and your sacrum are still connected onto the ground and you're not, not arcing your back up off of the mat. So you wanna keep your tailbone elongating and, and extending in the direction up towards your knees so that your lower back and your sacrum are connected onto the ground. So switch, interlace your fingers around your right shin and extend your left leg straight out. So you can play around with lowering now your extended leg and right and lifting it. So when you lower it, there's a point that might pull you out of your core. You want to draw your tailbone in the direction of your knees and keep your belly relaxed so that your back is connected to your mat. And then bend both knees over your hips. We're gonna press your arms into your thighs. So you're pressing your legs away from your chest, but then meeting that pressure with your legs pushing right back into your arms. And you can notice how here my lower back gets out of integrity and I don't have my core strength and when I re-engage my thighs towards my chest I meet this resistance I'm gonna draw my energy my awareness my strength and my power right back into my belly keeping my the length of my spine so with your left knee pressing into your hands extend your right leg straight out and then switch right knee presses into your hands and left leg out you can cycle once you get the feel you don't have to use so much time and so much focus you can start to just move your body in the flow keeping your lower back engaged keeping your tailbone and then moving in the direction of your knees and extending your legs. Just waking up all of this energy in our lower abdomen. And draw your knees back into your chest. Take a deep, big deep breath in and then exhale to relax. Relax through your whole body. Neck, shoulders, belly, hips, legs, feet. And once again, extend your knees up over your hips. And this time, let's point your toes up towards the ceiling and take your hands behind your thighs. So you'll reach around onto your hamstrings here. You press your thighs away from your chest so your arms are nice and long, meeting the resistance between your arms and your legs. Draw into your navel and then draw your navel your belly button down towards the ground so you feel the base of your pelvis and your tailbone lifting up again in the direction of your knees and then relax your tailbone back down towards the ground you can place your hands now beside your hips palms facing down so that you have your upper arms and your elbows to support your body as you continue that action 
drawing your navel down towards the ground so that you elevate your lower belly and you elevate the base of your pelvis. So an exhalation draws the energy of the lower belly into your body so you get that lift off and then you inhale to relax to the ground. Exhale, lift off, inhale to the ground. So you're just bringing muscular energy and awareness into this low abdomen, deep into the hips. And then we want to relax by drawing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a big hug. And really relax by letting a deep exhalation move through. One more thing we're going to add to our series on our back is lifting and then lowering one leg so we lift both legs and then we'll lower your left leg bring it to the top elevate base of your pelvis reach out with your right leg bring both feet to the top elevate and then reach out with your left leg Inhale to the top, exhale, elevate, lower with your right leg, inhale to the top, elevate, lower your left leg. One more time, inhaling and exhaling. And then knees to your chest. Give yourself a hug, deep breath in, and exhale. You're gonna cross your ankles, rock and roll from your hips to your shoulders. If this isn't comfortable for you, just rock over onto your side and roll up. So we rock up into our seat and place our hands in front of our knees and step our feet back. So you find a plank position or a high push-up pose over your mat. I like to rock a little from the right side to the left side just to make sure I'm not being tense in my shoulders, but I'm being relaxed in my body and engaged. So by rocking to the left and to the right side, you are inviting your side body, these obliques, and the sides of your ribs, as well as full circumference of both legs, to engage and support you. So from all directions, you are drawing in to the power that's going to sustain your ability to lose the weight you want to lose, trim the belly fat, Kiss it goodbye and watch it just fly away. From plank pose, feeling the belly in all directions, feeling that support. Let's come down onto your hands and your knees. So your hands are just under your shoulders, your knees are just under your hips. You're gonna extend your right foot straight back behind you, sending your chest straight forward towards the top of your mat. Then exhale, draw your knee in towards your navel and round the back of your spine so you tuck your nose towards your knee. Inhale, leg straight back, chest straight forward. And exhale, draw in through your lower belly, round through your upper back. Inhale. And exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last time, exhale, pull into your belly, use your lower abdomen, use your inner hip strength, and then release your right leg to the ground. 
We'll drop both hips back to your heels and find a resting pose. Let any of the tension that accumulates in your shoulders or in your neck or in your low back, let it dissolve and then rise back up onto all fours. You can bring your knees together for support in the center and extend your left leg straight back, chest straight forward. Exhale, draw your knee to your chest, round your upper back and bow your forehead in so your chin tucks to your chest. Inhale, extend. Exhale, rounding inwards. Inhale, extend. From all directions, pull inwards. Inhale, and exhale. Last time, inhale. And exhale. Both knees to the ground. Sweep your shoulders down your back. Reach your heart open, your throat open. And now with your toes tucked behind you, you're gonna lift your hips into downward facing dog. Keep your knees bent. So your chest presses back towards your thighs and your head dangles right in between your arms. So I call this a pouncing dog because you're really not stretching your legs to full capacity, but you're keeping your knees bent, which gives a lot of freedom for the spine, especially for the lower back, to be nice and long. And then we'll pedal out one heel at a time. So as you lengthen one leg, you'll notice that you get a nice stretch through your belly, through your abdomen, and through all those muscles that run really deep beyond our surface uh, six pack or whatever your goal is. Beyond that surface, there is a lot of energy really close to your spine, a lot of muscular energy that gives you support and that gives you that easy, sense of strength and power. So we're really not targeting so much the superficial muscles as we are targeting the freedom of the deeper muscles. So that gets, that gets us in tune with our inner organs, our intestines, our stomach, our liver, our spleen, all that's inside of our belly <clears throat> so you can come down onto your knees after your downward dog onto your hips once again and then lay back onto the ground so here here laying on the ground you're gonna keep your feet a little bit further apart than normal. Let your knees come together like the top of a pyramid. And we'll drop both knees over to your right side so your legs stagger like shield wipers. Keep the backs of your shoulders flat on the ground and you can turn your chin away from your knees. This gives all this length in the abdomen. Go to the other side, knees over to your left, chin over to your right, and just relax again as you're twisting. Feel the elongation through the side body, through your side waist. All of the energy that we work for when we're doing the, when we're contracting our muscles, also needs to be flooded with our presence and with our breath and with our awareness. So we don't want to come out of our 
series feeling tight. We want to come out of our series feeling powerful, feeling free, feeling like we have the choices. We need to be healthy. Or <clears throat> feeling like we have the access to the choices. We need to be healthy. Draw your knees into your chest. Give yourself a big hug. If you want to stay down on the ground, you're welcome to relax into a Shavasana. Take as much time as you need to. And when you're ready to come up, you will just roll onto your side and press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Really great job today, you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for practicing. Be sure to favorite this video so you can return to it time and time again to reinvigorate your core energy. Get rid of the belly fat. Watch for videos two and three in this series for weight loss for beginners. Subscribe to Psyche Truth and check me out at yogacurrent.com. See you soon. Bye-bye.